Arina Sabalenka is the new Australian Open 2024 champion. She defeated King Ling Zhang in the final and she didn't even break sweat. Here we go, and we've got the Australian Open putting out a lovely graphics, and back to back, Sabalenka is our Australian Open champion. And like I said, she found it so, so easy. She beat King Wing Zhang 6 3, 6 2. She was never in the match, it was just over an hour long. And if I'm totally honest, it was like watching a third round match at a Grand Slam. King Wing Zhang, she's done well. She's beaten everyone in front of her, but let's be honest, her draw was so, so easy. Not played a single seeded player until the final. Everyone over 50 in the rankings. She's had a real easy draw and it showed because the moment she played against someone of any kind of calibre in Sabalenka, who bearing in mind is right now the best player on the women's tour, her and Iga are so dominant. She had no chance whatsoever and I don't know, maybe this is just my opinion, but this was not a great final. This was not something which is going to be good for the WTA Tour. I don't think it was particularly interesting. I think it was very predictable. My prediction yesterday was 6-1, 6-3. It wasn't bad. I mean, it, we kind of knew what we were going to see and the only way this match was going to be lost if Sabalenka just collapsed mentally and... I feel even towards the end where she was a bit shaky, she had all their match points, couldn't take them. It was still just too easy for her. And nobody really wants to watch a final in which you know what's going to happen. And it is very straightforward, straight sets, just over an hour. And it reminded me a little bit of the 2022 Australian Open in which Ashley Barty won. It had very, very similar shades of that one. Uh, on a positive note, let's go through some of the tweets. So we have Sabalenka here becoming the fifth woman to win the Australian Open without dropping a set. Lindsay Davenport, Maria Sharapova, Selena Williams, Ash Barty, and now Sabalenka. A very iconic group of women there, and she's put her name in history. Um, another one here is Sabalenka beat Goff in 102 minutes and won all of her other matches on the way to the title in 76 or less. No sets dropped. Similar to the US Open quarterfinal, awful matchup for Zhang with a second serve getting destroyed. Uh, and how much she struggles with the sort of heavy hitting on both wings. It was just very evident that King Wing Zhang's second serve is not good enough. And there was a tweet. Here we go. Over the last year or so, Zhang leads the WTA top 50 in first serve points one, 73.3%, but finds herself rock bottom in first serve percentage. Uh, it's not easy, but imagine what getting that second figure up to 55% could do to her ceiling. Ultimately, she just doesn't find enough first serves. And obviously, if she's not finding first serves, it means we're going to see more second serves and they're going to get eaten up by the big players like Sabalenka. It's exactly what happened today. We know King Wing Zheng's returning so deep to try and factor in the power. But with her serve, we've got Sabalenka inside the court waiting to attack these second serves and she's not getting anything back. It's not great for the spectators and it's not good for King Wing Zheng because... She needs to drastically improve how many first serves she can find because she's got one of the best first serves on tour, evidently, by the stats. So there is some adjustments. I'm not going to be too harsh on her because she's in now the top 10. She's seventh in the world. She's flying high. But there was such a big disparity in this final and um, never looked close to really winning it. Uh, on Sabalenka, she's now the third player in the last 10 years to win the same women's single major event for consecutive seasons after Williams, Serena uh, in Wimbledon 2015-2016 and Eager at Roland Garros 22-23. Of course, Eager going for three in a row this year. Uh, interesting to see if she can do that. And let's end with the title run for Sabalenka. So, 6-love, six 6-1 six against Seedler in the first round. 6-3, 6-2 against Fravitova in the second. 6-love, six 6-love six against Serenko in the third. 6-3, 6-2 against Nisimova in the fourth. 6-2, six 6-3 six against Klachikova in the quarterfinal. The tightest one of the match, and this was really the final before the final, because if Goff would have won, she would have won the Australian Open as well. 7-6, six 6-4. Six and once she won that one, the final was easy. 6-3, six 6-2, six King Wing Zhang. 
she's won the whole thing and well done to Alina Sabalenka because she's looking like a really tough warrior on court right now and it's going to be difficult to beat her. But there we go. That's my thoughts on the Australian Open Women's Final. I was left a little bit disappointed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Of course, not taking anything away from Sabalenka or King Wing Chung. She deserved to get to the final. She beat everyone in front of her. Uh, but that's just my thoughts. Make sure, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon.